Hey, what is up tech enthusiasts, BoHD here. And if you guys have been following me on Twitter, you guys will know that I have picked up the Logitech MX Master Mouse to help my workflow as I edit and produce videos on the daily. It's a $100 mouse that is certainly on the expensive side, but to me, I was in dire need of an upgrade as I'm coming from a simple $20 Logitech M510 wireless laser mouse. That's not bad, but it really just doesn't have all of the bells and whistles that the MX Master Mouse has to help me edit. So this is it, the Logitech MX Master Mouse that we can get our hands on if we slice off both pieces of tape, open up the flap, and slide out the innards. First of all, we will find the MX Master wireless mouse instructions and setup guide along with a standard micro USB charging cable. I thought this would be pretty neat if this were a USB Type-C cable, but unfortunately it's not which actually might be for the better since this is a more universally standard cable right now. On the bottom side of this box, we will first take a look at this very tiny USB receiver that will receive the signal from the mouse and allow you to connect and use your new mouse with your computer. You won't need this piece if your computer has Bluetooth though, but not every computer does, so this is nice to have for sure. Now we can finally take a look at the MX Master wireless mouse, and man, this thing is much more professional than what I was working with before. It's seriously substantial, especially if you're coming from a relatively cheap mouse like I was. But if we take a look around the Master, we will find nothing on the right hand side, as that just wouldn't really make too much sense. There are a few different buttons on the left hand side that we can activate with our thumb. We do have a unique thumb wheel here, and a forward and back button behind that and then a gesture button below that with that rocky web-like design that looks super elegant, especially with those really nice curves. There is also a little LED battery indicator here that is a little hard to see. On the top of the MX Master, we have a micro USB port that will be used to charge the mouse. And then if we take an aerial view of the master mouse, we will find your standard left and right clicker with an auto shift scroll wheel and a pairing button behind that. Taking a look underneath the device, and we will find an easy switch that will allow you to pair this mouse up to three devices and easily switch between them. And once again, you can connect using the Logitech receiver or through Bluetooth. Now, if we log into our computer and download the Logitech software, which installed automatically for me when I put in the receiver, you will have this fantastic software that actually allows you to customize all areas of this mouse. On the point and scroll tab, you can change the pointer speed, you can enable smooth scrolling, you can change the direction of the scroll wheel and the thumb wheel, and you can enable smart shift, which when it is enabled, the speed adaptive scroll wheel shifts between two scrolling modes automatically in response to your touch. The free spin option equals basically the super fast mode, and the ratchet mode equals the kind of click to click mode or the slower mode. And then if we go back to the mouse tab, this is where you could customize all the various buttons on the MX Master Mouse. The gesture button is defaulted to manage windows, but you can completely customize it however you'd like. The middle button can be a gesture button or a mode shift button, or you could just make it activate just about anything you'd like. Same goes with the manual shift button, the thumb wheel, and the back and forward buttons. You can literally personalize this mouse to best fit your personal workflow. It's absolutely amazing. I've never been able to do this before, but I absolutely love the customizable options. Now, as for how the mouse feels in the hand, it really is great the more I use it. It's very ergonomic and fits the curve of my hand, although it did take a little while to adjust to since I wasn't coming from a very comfortable mouse to begin with. It's really a totally different experience, and this mouse is pretty big. I mean, if you have unusually small hands, you're probably not going to like it that much because it is pretty good size. I had no real problems reaching any of the buttons except for the gesture button in particular, which is a bit awkward to press since I have to move my thumb back a little bit to press down on it, and you do have to give it some force. It's not a very easy button to press relative to the other buttons, and you also kind of run into the same problem with the forward and back buttons, but it might just be a matter of getting used to the button placement. Overall, it's a great mouse, which it really should be since it costs $100. This isn't going to be the best gaming mouse, but if you're a content creator, then this seemingly little accessory will seriously help you improve your workflow. It's not going to improve it overnight, but the more you use it and become comfortable with it, it'll really help a lot, and you will notice the difference. Now, is it better than the MX Performance mouse? I actually don't really know, because I've never used that mouse. 
I actually made a jump to the MX Master from the Logitech M510 budget mouse. So if you're kind of in a similar situation as I was where you have a budget mouse and you're thinking about upgrading to something more substantial, then by all means, you should seriously look at the MX Master Mouse. However, if you currently own the MX Performance Mouse, I really don't think the upgrade is worth it. I mean, you should probably save your money because I think that is still a fantastic mouse from what I hear. So there you have it guys, my review of the Logitech MX Master Mouse. If you guys like this video, please help me out by hitting that like button. And if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to join the tech enthusiast here and hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm BoHD. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. See ya.